Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I'm gonna do the greeting for uh, you know today uh, for like uh, the morning and the night and the times I've been out and times I've been um, in like getting inside again and like uh, you know all all, the, all these kind of things, right? All these kind of things. Like I'm I'm not so sure I'm not so sure when I was supposed to do the greeting. But uh, I have been doing uh, all these things and uh, I haven't been doing the greeting because uh, I kind of like have this anxiety when it comes to showing myself on video. <laughs> yeah. uh, Prophet Isaiah chapter 64 uh, My computer is making sounds. It is actually. Uh, it sounds like Morse code. <laughs> yeah. Verse 7 But now, Lord, you are our Father. We are a clay, you are the one who formed us. We are all the work of your hands. We are all the work of your hand, okay? Hands or hand, hands or hand, hand or hands. Hands or hand, hands or hand. So, um, I wanted to talk about this problem and, uh, no, you know, not this problem, but, uh, this conflict I have with my, with some of my family members. So, my mom, you know, um, she uh, had an alcoholic uh, father. Her dad was an alcoholic. My grandfather was an alcoholic. That's what I've been hearing at least. And she never spoke about this when I was a child or when I, when I was uh, getting older or something. And you know, um, when she married the first time, because I think she was married two times, uh, two times, I'm not so sure if this, I, I haven't heard about this before, but she was married two times. First time she was beaten up by her, hus by her husband. Uh, the second time she, um, she got together with a guy, but she was poor. And she was hungry, and she didn't eat so much. And uh, you know, after a while, she probably started like prostituting herself to get money. Okay, she she started she probably started prostituting herself to get money. And then after a while, they we uh, lost our all our money. And then she asked me to become a prostitute because uh, you know I was a beautiful child, and. Um, I got angry. I was. I refused. You know that is disgraceful. It is uh, shameful. It is uh, wrong on so many levels. I'm a boy for crying out loud. And she asked me. She asked me to be a prostitute. That, that's even worse. That's even worse than being a woman and being a prostitute. Okay, being a boy and being a prostitute is even woman. Is even. Is even wrong, more wrong than being a woman and being a prostitute, or being a girl and being a bro, bro and being a prostitute. Okay. Um, personally, I think that mom, my mom, should never have accused my dad for doing things he didn't do, or that. Um, um, I also think that this thing about. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm not. I'm not gonna talk about it. Uh, my mom. She's. She's very mysterious. Very mysterious. I, I've never heard so much about it. Uh, about her story. Like. Uh, but you know, my mom is a prostitute. She. Uh, she. Uh, she. I think she prostitutes herself, and she. Uh, tried to make me a prostitute and she believes in prostitution 
And this is my this might be a little bit because my mom is sort of like a feminist, sort of like a feminist or like uh, someone that you know uh, believes in like uh, girl power, you know, girl power. And uh, because I've heard that feminists had this abuse when they were when uh, way before, like for hundreds of years ago, they were like uh, or like uh, in the nineteenth nineteenth century and and in the eighteen eighteenth century. I mean, maybe even maybe even in the seventeenth century, they believed in prostitution, and uh, I think it's wrong. I think that women that uh, become feminists are obviously already narcissists. Uh, they're wrong. They're evil. Uh, but you know, there's always an explanation. There's always an explanation to why people to why people become like that. To why things like that happen. My mom, she was sexually abused by, by, her, by her dad, my grandfather, and uh, uh, that's what I heard of this. That's what I heard of this. And you know, um, feminists, you know, they got something wrong with them, okay? There, there's something really wrong with feminists, okay? You know, maybe they need to be like that, I don't know, I don't know. I don't have a single clue, but um, I would actually think they don't need to be like that. And I would also feel like uh, they they are harmful on so on so so many levels to to the whole society. You know, uh, women are things that women need to need. Obviously, this thing about uh, prostitution is very obvious. Women can't gain knowledge, they can't gain uh, power, they can't gain uh, uh, any fame or any uh, riches without sleeping around. They can't. They are uh, dependent upon these uh, relationships they have. Okay, that's, that's, what, that's how women work. They need relationships. They need to be... Uh, they can be ignored, you know. Uh, they have to have care and nurture and all these kind of things for men. Or else they're going to um, not do so good. And you know, men are like men are like that too. We also crave, you know, relationships and we uh, learn from early, early relationships. Like if we can't rise above everyone else, then uh, you know uh, we have we have a problem. You know we have a problem. But you know women can't basically rise above even any anyone. Okay, they can't rise above any of the. They can't rise above any anyone without like having uh, a relationship with them. Okay, they can't. They can't rely. They can't rise above people without without having uh, some sort of like uh, uh, love relationship with a man. Okay, sort of like that. Sort of like that. Sort of like that. Okay, and then basically, um, the the psych ward is like starting to be hostile again. They're starting to like uh, threaten me and try to uh, get it like uh, try to kill me and try to uh, destroy me, you know, because these people are, you know, basically dangerous, you know, they're, they're dangerous people, okay? These people are basically homosexuals and um, feminists. And they're hostile against Christians, they're hostile against uh, Buddhists, they're hostile against. Uh, Muslims, they're hostile, hostile against um, Jews, they're hostile against uh, all kinds of people, like Hindus or, and all kinds of people, okay? And they just want to rule, they just want to kill people who, don't, who disagrees with them, you know? And if you want to know what a homosexual and a, uh, and a feminist actually thinks about, like... Uh, I learned this from talking to them, talking to them, talking to them in, in a psych world. Okay, they don't believe in reality like we do. 
Uh, they don't believe that like reality lies openly ahead of them. They think that everything is like a, is an illusion. That you know you can just make up your mind of like make up what 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 what, what, what reality should look like. They just think that, that you can make up reality. You know, make up what what is true and what is not true. And if you don't you agree with them, you know, even though they even though there's no evidence, even though there's no evidence for what they believe in, you know, because they don't believe in evidence. Uh, they're gonna force you to agree with them. They're gonna like uh, put medicine into your body. They're gonna like uh, destroy your body so that you will agree with them. Okay. So all of this was uh, obviously a, an attack from the feminists and the homosexuals, and you know it's been a, uh, it's been an attack from the feminists and the homosexuals uh, ever since. And you know, they want their own, um, they want their own the left side, the, le the left side basically, they are the immigrants, they are the Muslims, they are the homosexuals and they are the feminists, okay? It's a coalition between the feminists, the homosexuals, the Muslims and the immigra immigra immigrators, okay? Immigrators, okay? And uh, they go against the right side, which is basically, uh, I'm not so sure who the right side, right side actually is, because I don't know who they are. I don't belong to any group. I don't, I'm, not a, I'm not a homosexual, I'm not a trans, I'm not a, I'm not a, like a feminist, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not any of those things. But, uh, I'm not either a uh, right winger okay i'm not a, i'm not a, i'm not a right winger either okay because i believe that the home that like uh the left side has got something right okay has got something right with them as well okay as well but it's hard to maintain a balance seeing as all these people are being rude and despicable and disrespectful and just stupid Okay, I claimed for a long time that feminists should not rule, uh, that homosexuals were wrong, that uh, abortionists were not were wrong for taking abortion, and you know I still agree with that uh, for the most part. It is wrong, but I don't mention it often. I don't think about it often. I don't. I don't care. I don't care. I don't. I don't think. I don't care. Uh, the psych ward is the most dangerous place to be in Norway, okay? Obviously, and a, and a prison, okay? And a prison. Because they do so much sick things to, be, to people. Sick things. Okay, bye. Bye.